I have for you the most deranged message post we've seen from Donald Trump on True Social, at least in a very long time. And that's saying a lot. Take a look at this first being reported on by The Atlantic, then we'll look at the post itself. Trump floats the idea of executing Joint Chiefs Chairman Milley. The foreign president is inciting violence against the nation's top general. America's response is distracted and numb. And of course, Mark Milley is the outgoing chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He served under Donald Trump and under Joe Biden. And the reason Trump has an issue with them is, of course, because General Mark Milley has called out the threat that Donald Trump poses to the rule of law and to democracy. And uh, here, as the author of this article noted, America's response is distracted and numb. We're so used to dangerous posts like what you're about to see that even though it is being reported on and people are outraged, it's not at all what we'd see if any other politician said what Donald Trump has. Take a look at this from True Social. Mark Milley, who led perhaps the most embarrassing moment in American history, Trump writes, with his grossly incompetent implementation of the withdrawal from Afghanistan, costing many lives, leaving behind hundreds of American citizens and handing over billions of dollars of the finest military equipment ever made, will be leaving the military next week. This will be a time for all citizens of the USA to celebrate. This guy turned out to be a woke train wreck who, if the fake news reporting is correct, was actually dealing with China to give them a heads up on the thinking of the president of the United States. This is an act so egregious that in times gone by, the punishment would have been death. Would have been death. A war between China and the United States could have been the result of this treasonous act to be continued. And if you're familiar with the language within MAGA world, as I interact with on a regular basis treason is just you could just replace death penalty it's just that's the only thing that means to the individuals uh, supporting and following donald trump and he actually uses the word death in times gone by this would be punishable by death and he is someone who committed treason now he's referring to the reporting that indicates mark milley was so frightened, so terrified, and knew the rest of the world was by the actions of Trump in the final days of his presidency, the erratic nature of his behavior, and all of his different attempts to keep himself in the White House by whatever means necessary, as he's now being indicted for. And so Mark Milley was afraid that foreign countries and their leaders would be terrified that Trump was going to try to start some conflict to justify keeping himself the president. That was the fear from a lifelong military leader. And so he was uh, potentially reaching out to leaders in other countries and saying, listen, if Trump tries to do something that would be disastrous, the other leaders under him will try to keep things stable and will try to prevent that from happening. And that is disastrous. Having a top military leader saying, we potentially won't follow the directive of the president of the United States. You don't want that, but you also don't want Trump making those horrifying directives. And so that also reflects horribly on Donald Trump. So him pointing that out is strange, but he's not actually upset because of the withdrawal from Afghanistan or anything like that. He's upset because Mark Milley recently was reported to have behind the scenes said about Donald Trump, a number of things. One of them being that he believes if Trump became president again, after the 2024 election, Trump would lock up his political opponents as Trump is running on. So it's not that crazy he would say that, but Mark Milley is pointing out that Trump is a threat to the rule of law. Now, Mark Milley is optimistic, doesn't think Trump will get elected again, but that's what Trump is really upset about. And apparently, Representative Gosar as well, as the Daily Beast reports, Representative Gosar, uh, Gosar's homophobic Sunday rant is deranged even for him. Representative Paul Gosar used his weekly email newsletter hosted on a government domain it's funded by American taxpayers on Sunday to launch a thinly veiled homophobic attack on Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Mark Milley, shockingly suggesting Milley should be put to death. And talks about how this responding to Stephen Sun's testimony that pointed out there was a massive uh, intelligence failure on January 6th and several agencies and individuals from the Pentagon, Trump, they all should have reacted more swiftly to the attack on the Capitol. But then Gosar brings up Nancy Pelosi, pointing out that in the minds of MAGA, she's the villain of January 6th. And he thought Millie, quote, the homosexual promoting BLM activist chairman of the military joint chiefs, 
delayed the deployment of the National Guard, Gosar claimed. Quote, of course, we know now that the deviant Milley was coordinating with Nancy Pelosi to hurt President Trump and treasonously working behind Trump's back. In a better society, quizlings like the strange sodomy promoting General Milley would be hung. Now, of course, he meant hanged, but he's calling for the killing in a better society. That's just him saying, I wish that were happening now. A Republican congressman alongside the leading Republican presidential candidate. We have two major parties in the most powerful country on the planet. And one of them is going to pick a guy who's calling for the or alluding to a past time when his top military leader formerly would be killed. For, like I said, despite all the words you just heard from them, actually for calling out the threat that Trump poses to our constitution, our democracy, and to the rule of law. That is so horrifying. I can't overstate that. And it reflects what the GOP has become. Trump controls that party. Paul Gosar is yet another example of what's allowed now within this party. And it's disturbing. And it's why voting against this matters. And last thing I'll say again, as we talked about in a past Mark Milley segment, this is coming from the pro-military party, a lifelong military leader saying, you can't elect Donald Trump again. This guy is a threat to our rule of law and our constitution. You can't elect this guy. And the pro-military party, as they've coined themselves, is saying, nah, who cares? He's a rhino. He's woke. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show and get a bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.